One of the common questions that I get is, hey DT, what YouTubers do you watch? Do you watch this guy? Do you watch that guy? And pretty much everybody that makes Linux content, tech-related content that occasionally discusses Linux or free and open source software, I'm probably familiar with most of the channels out there. So yeah, chances are when you ask me about a specific YouTuber, yes, I've probably seen at least one of their videos at one time or another, but today I wanted to focus on some YouTubers that I've really been enjoying their content here in 2021. So I'm going to show you guys eight YouTube channels that if you're not currently subscribed to, you guys should check it out because all of these guys that I'm going to show you today, they put in a ton of work and they put out some really high quality content. So the first YouTuber I want to spotlight is the Linux cast. Now this particular guy, his name is Matt and he puts out some really high quality content, especially for somebody that hasn't been doing YouTube for very long at all. You can see it's a very small channel, just 416 subscribers. I came across the Linux cast a, a few weeks ago. I became a subscriber and he does some really cool stuff. He does a lot on tiling window managers. You can see he's got an i3 video. I think he's done some Xmonad and some DWM videos in the past. He's got some Arch installation videos and occasionally he does distro reviews. You can see he's taking a look at Manjaro and Deepin. He's done some Ubuntu stuff as well. One of the things that impresses me about Matt over at the Linux cast is for such a new channel, he's got good equipment, right? He's got a nice camera, he's got nice audio, and he's got a good speaking voice, which is something you're either born with or you're not born with. And he is really easy to listen to as far as his speaking voice. And I think he is a good teacher. And I'm really excited to see where his channel goes in the future. I think this is going to end up being one of the bigger Linux -y YouTube channels out there within a couple of years. The next channel I want to spotlight, I've really been enjoying what Learn Linux has been doing. Now, don't confuse this particular Learn Linux with Learn Linux TV, uh, which is a, a huge Linux-related channel. The guy's got like 140, 150,000 subscribers. No, this is just Learn Linux, and he's only got 2,000 subscribers, and I've been a subscriber of his for probably a year or more. But here in the past few weeks, really since the new year, I've noticed he's really ramped it up as far as he's putting out content on a really regular basis. And it's great content, especially for those that want to learn the terminal, the command line, bash, shell scripting. Learn Linux really is probably one of the best resources for that stuff. I think the only reason that his subscriber base is, is so low is because, unfortunately, the branding. Learn Linux, that is such a generic name that probably that really affects discoverability. You know, when people type Learn Linux in YouTube, they're not going to find this guy's channel, right? They're going to find videos about how to learn Linux because those words are common. Learn and Linux, especially in conjunction with each other. And we've already mentioned there's another very large YouTuber <laughs> called Learn Linux TV. So if they're going to recommend a channel they're probably going to recommend that channel and not this one so he's probably being penalized a little bit in the youtube algorithms and i want to try to counteract that a little bit today by telling you guys go subscribe to learn linux again especially if you're interested in command line and shell scripting the next channel that I've really been enjoying their content here in 2021, I've actually been enjoying this guy's content for a couple of years now, Eric Dubois. He is the creator of Arco Linux, and this guy is an absolute machine as far as putting out videos. He puts out a video practically every day. As a matter of fact, most days he puts out multiple videos. He's probably got somewhere around 3,000 videos on his YouTube channel at the moment. It is a massive catalog. And much of it is, of course, about Arco Linux. That's why he has the channel. But just because he talks about Arco Linux, you don't have to run Arco Linux to learn something from his videos. Much of it can be applied to any other Linux distribution you happen to run, especially if you run an Arch-based Linux distribution. If you run mainline Arch or Manjaro or Endeavor, you're probably going to learn something from watching Eric's videos on Arco Linux. If I had to really describe Eric's YouTube channel, I would say it's almost like it's the Arch Wiki in video form, right? It's like this massive catalog of really useful Arch related content. Now, the next channel I want to talk about is EF Linux Made Simple. So, EF, this guy's name, I believe, is Amano Ferrari, and he focuses very heavily on Arch. He does like an Arch Linux installation video practically every month, which is really nice to have a channel like that out there because people are always looking for a fresh 
Arch Linux installation guide because these things get outdated very quickly. You know, six months, a year down the road, the Arch installation video that I made is no longer valid. And this guy, how he combats that is he's always making Arch installation videos. So if you're interested in mainline Arch especially, or you're having trouble getting the install to work, and not just the base install. I mean, he installs desktop environments, window managers. He does a lot of tiling window manager stuff on Arch Linux. Occasionally, he does non-Arch related stuff too. I mean, he does Arch-based distros like Endeavor and Manjaro and Arco, but occasionally you can see he steps out a little bit. He does a Gentoo Stage 3 installation here. It talks about FreeBSD on this video, but I would say the main focus of this particular channel is Arch Linux, so if you're an Arch or Arch-based Linux distribution user, definitely subscribe to EF Linux Made Simple. The next channel I want to discuss is Tech Hut. Now Tech Hut, I came across this channel for the first time about two or three months ago, and I was surprised that I had just discovered it because the guy's got 31,000 subscribers and I'd never heard of it. And I, I don't know why I was never served any of his videos as far as recommendations before. Um, probably because it's not necessarily a Linux channel. I mean, it's a tech-related channel. He does a lot of Linux stuff on his channel, but it's more of a general tech channel. He does do some stuff with Windows and Mac and mobile operating systems. Occasionally, he does stuff about, you know, proprietary software, but he does a, a large percentage of, of his videos do talk about Linux and free and open source software. As you can see, he's uh, distro hopping on a Linux phone. Uh, in this video, he's talking about the MailSpring email client, which is free and open source software. In this video, he's talking about SSH and how it compares from Windows to Linux. So if you're looking for a more general tech related channel, I definitely think Brandon over at Tech Hut deserves some attention. Now the next channel I want to talk about is not a necessarily a Linux channel or a tech related channel as far as general tech. This guy really focuses on one piece of software and that is Emacs and the channel is called System Crafters. I came across his channel uh, I want to say about two three months ago. Uh, the guy's name is David that does the videos and he regularly live streams where you see him on a live stream configure Emacs. You see him uh, showing you uh, how to program in Elisp and configure Emacs to your liking. It's probably the best Emacs channel I've found as far as David, he's really good at explaining things, and part of that is because he does it live. He does these two-hour live streams. Think about a guy sitting there for two hours with a whiteboard. His whiteboard is essentially <laughs> Emacs. He's showing you Emacs on screen and what he's doing inside Emacs as far as the code and the configuration and everything, and I think it's just great. I think it's one of the easier Emacs channels to get into as far as new user-friendly. Like it, it, it is, He doesn't start way over your head, and, and that's one of the things when people ask me about is, are there any YouTubers that do Emacs content? Some of them, although they put out some really great content, they assume you kind of already know a little bit before you get there. And David here, I think he's really great and that he really doesn't speak over your head. The next channel I want to talk about is Chris at Machine. And much like System Crafters focuses on Emacs, Chris at Machine really focuses on Vim. He does occasional videos that are not Vim related. You see he's got some Arch related videos and an i3 video. But how I discovered his channel, I discovered his channel, I don't know, six months ago probably, is that so many of his videos are about Vim or NeoVim. And he's often playing with new plugins and working on his NeoVim configuration that he's got on his, his GitHub page that you can go check out. And it's just this massive document, which is really great when somebody, you know, makes such a massive config file, especially when they're doing stuff on camera about it, is that config file of his really becomes almost like official NeoVim documentation. So if you're interested in Vim or NeoVim, really, you should check out Christian over at Chris at Machine. And the final YouTuber I want to discuss is Tom Zero AD. You guys know that I really love the free and open source game Zero AD. And this guy, he puts out some just incredible videos about the game. Sometimes he shows actual gameplay. Sometimes he does guides and tutorials. He does these faction overviews where he goes over the various factions in the game, such as the Spartans, the Marians, the Iberians, etc. And it's really 
a just a wealth of knowledge. So Zero AD is such a complicated game, right? Because it's a real-time strategy game, and it's not an easy game to get into, and you really need somebody to show you, right? So a lot of people are visual learners, and having somebody that can show you on camera what's going on is great. As a matter of fact, he's actually, I guess he's doing live right now. You see Tom Zero AD come back stream live. Well, if I'd have known he was going to do this live stream at the moment, I would have watched this live stream instead of making my own video, but I'll go back and try to catch the replay. So that's eight YouTubers that I've really been enjoying watching their content here recently. Uh, just a recap, Matt over at the Linux cast, Learn Linux, Eric Dubois, EF Linux Made Simple, Tech Hut, System Crafters, Chris at Machine, and Tom Zero AD. Now before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode, Absy, Dallas, Gabe, Lou, Mitchell, Alan, Akami, Arch5530, Chuck, David, The Other David, Dylan, Gregory, Lewis, Paul, Scott, Wes, and Willie. These guys, they are my highest tier patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this episode that you just watched, it wouldn't have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen as well. These are all my supporters over on Patreon. Without each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen, I wouldn't be able to do what I do. If you'd like to support my work, look for DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.